Mandarin language desert, 120 people died. 6,000 people injured. Three are still missing. I never thought I could survive from this daily earthquake in Shanghai. Yushan is my hometown. As a survivor of the devastating earthquake, I want to share my experience and value to all of you. I'm going to cross logically, explain my story, and learn from it. No matter how big the disaster was, it will never overcome my courage, life, and continue on. The story starts from my sweet memories and my grandparents' hundreds of years old house. Continues by describing the earthquake and finished by examining the impact on me and my community. I had a peaceful childhood until the earthquake. I can still dream. My cousin and I played the water at the wheel of the courtyard of my family 100 years old. We will have the simplest pleasure while we play the water. We rode our bike as fast as we can. The training wheel of our bike will make a path on the dirt while we speed over the lush oriental parts. I vividly still remember my favorite scent of the snow white gardenias floating, floating around the air while we pass it and my cousin chased me. However, two weeks before, age of 13, my life changed. The earthquake was fractured by the peacefulness of my hometown. I remember on April 23rd, 2013, I awoke to a startling tremble. I never expected the home to be destroyed. The floor started to vibrate and then shake violently. Simultaneously, there's a tremble surged into the thunderous rock. Plaster, dust, wood held on me. I scrapped off by my bed, tried to hide under a table. Coughing, I cannot breathe and became disoriented. If my dad hadn't come to save me, I would never see my beautiful hometown again and stand here to speak to you all. My dad desperately shouted out my name. He ran back to the second floor as fast as he can. As his adrenaline could push him, he found me and he saved me. We embraced ourselves together against the security force. We walked down the stairs as fast as we can on the broken concrete, like shifting, like crossing shifting river on the jack store. We made it outside. However, all of our familiar neighborhood became collapse of buildings. I hold my dad while others are searching on the wreckage, calling out their loved ones. Fortunately, the chaos of earthquake did not last long. Within the first initial hours, thousands, thousands of rescuers with trucks of supplies and food passed through the single mountain passage, even as the danger of rock slides after shorts. Volunteers, they risk they selflessly risk your life, risk your life to save us. They distribute food. They provide us shelter. A lot of brave journalists come over from China to record courageous actions and appeal others to help us. I will never forget that. Despite all the challenges, earthquake gave to us. During and after, we persevere through it. All the acts of courage and devotion to the duty and of the fellow countrymen and my dad built a strong camaraderie in our community and myself. I participated in Blue Ribbon Foundation that my mom found to help the worst severely impacted family. I with my dad run to different places to distribute food. I also want to participate with Red Cross to help the local school students with PTSD earthquake symptoms. I will persevere through all the difficulties. Although my family lost all of our material possessions, my, fa my parents' factory was severely damaged. We lived in the fear of aftershocks. 
We kept outside in the open space for one and a half year, despite all the freezing in the winter and heat in the summer. We fight against it, and we persevere. We rebuilt our home and wait for one and a half year. Our strong, our strong community holds us strong and courage to fight all through all the difficulties. Today, whenever I think about the courage that my dad and others give to me, I will go through all the difficulties that I face in my life, and I will never afraid of it. To conclude, the hundreds of years of house of my family now slanted to the right like a piece of power. It's no longer safe and inhabitable. Despite all the difficulties we have faced through after and during our grief, other people and my dad's capacity of selfless rescue others taught me courage, compassion, and love to others. I became more self-resilient after the earthquake. It gave me love, compassion. To finish, I appreciate this wonderful experience. It taught me a self and a commitment that will look the life positively and a work ethic to prove me to my bright future. Thank you all.